Hi, I'm General Dave Petraeus, Commander of the U.S. Central Command, and you're in the trenches. Thank you, sir. Eyes front when you're at the position of attention. Don't move a muscle, don't lock your knees either. That's better. Now at ease. Welcome back to In the Trenches. It's time to review the Vandy win, keeping in mind, though, that there's plenty of room for improvement in the Army. It's what it is called an after-action review. There aren't many things that say mission accomplished better than a field full of jubilant football fans celebrating a win by the home team. Army 16-13 overtime win over Vanderbilt is arguably the program's biggest win since knocking off Louisville in double overtime 59-52 10 years ago. The season record now stands at 3-3. Three and three. The Black Knights had the same record in 2006 and 2007. They finished both of those seasons 3-9, and nine, losing the last six games of the year. Last year, a four-game losing streak to end the season once again left the team with an ugly, unacceptable 3-9 and nine record for the third straight season. What does it all mean? It means that in the end, 3-3 three and three in a box full of ammo ain't going to get you much at the end of the day or end of the season unless you continue to improve and win football games. And how do you do that? You identify the problem spots, work hard to fix them, and work even harder to turn them into a pillar of your program. So big win or not, we've got work to do. It's AAR time, time to get busy. Before we do though, let's at least acknowledge what was done right Saturday against Vandy. Let's begin with number 39. The comeback kid, Alex Carlton, I'm sure the sophomore plays kicker conducted his own personal after action review after missing a game winning kick a week ago against Tulane. He made the necessary corrections and when called on again, he got the job done. A game winning kick against the Commodores. Nice job, Carlton. Vanderbilt, target up, target down. Next up, Florida. Hey, bring on all comers, right? I'm sure those Vandy football followers are spreading the word down south in SEC country that Army is in a team you want to mess with, not this Army team. It took the Black Knights a long time to get their Southeastern Conference revenge. The last SEC opponent was Auburn in the 1996 Independence Bowl, a 32-29 loss we'd like to forget. And this Army team is no different than past Army teams who put in some extra duty, some extra time to get the job done. By beating Vanderbilt 16-13 in overtime, Army is now 6-1 all-time in overtime games. At Mikey Stadium, they've never lost in the fifth quarter. The Black Knights are a perfect 5-0. Now to the really important stuff, the stuff that needs to get fixed quick, fast, and in a hurry. We start with the kickoff coverage team. It was bad a week ago against Tulane, and it got worse against Vandy, and it cost the Black Knights big time. The Commodores' Warren Norman goes 76 yards in the fourth quarter for a touchdown to tie the game. Come on, the Suicide Squad sets the tone. Have pride in being a part of that team, fellas. Your coaches picked you for the job because they know you can hit and make a tackle. Let's go. Be the one. Make that tackle. Or as we used to say in my kick cover days, I'll meet you at the ball. Second point, 16 isn't so sweet, unless you're a teenage girl having a big birthday party. For the second straight week, the Black Knights scored 16 points, one touchdown and three field goals. Turn those kicks into six, and let's up that point total. Roger that. And lastly, the defense has been playing really well. I got that, but for the second straight week, the D has lacked the finishing move, unable to hold fourth quarter leads. Against Tulane, it was a nine point lead they let slip away. Against Vandy, it was only three points with 7.33 to go, but still, get the three and out, cause the turnover, find a way to finish the game, and finish off the opponent. Get her done. Well, it's that time of the show when we take the pads off these future leaders of America so you can learn more about the members of the Army football team. We call it getting to know a black knight. With that, junior running back Alfred McDaniel, post! Tonight's Get to Know a Black Knight is brought to you by Williams Lumber and Home Centers, a name you know and a name you trust. I'm Alfred McDaniel III. I play slot back. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, Converse Justin High School. Uh, West Point. Uh, I was initially recruited on a track scholarship, and I took a couple of visits to other schools. I took a visit to Air Force, actually, and a couple other schools in Texas. And after going to them, I decided that West Point would be the full package. I, after talking to my family and everything like that, family, friends, and coaches, they all my like, especially my father. He was a big influence. He just told me that uh, if he didn't think I can do it, he wouldn't. He would have told me. He would let me know up front. But just growing up, childhood, and everything like that, and how I did in school and everything, he just told me that uh, it would be tough. But he believed in me. I can do it. So. And he was he was in the military, so he told me that it was it was possible for me to do it. I could do big things here. So number one, just going to West Point is already a big tradition. But playing football too, 
is even a bigger, uh, even bigger accomplishment. And just knowing the history and everything like that, and the many players that come through, great players, just be able to be on the same field and play on the field that's named after some of them and just being able to be in the same stadium is a great honor. When you're not playing football, what, what do you like to do with your free time? Uh, listen to music and hang out with my friends. It's being, especially being at West Point, your friends, they really, they can really bring some of the harder times easier. They make it a lot easier for you. So I spend a lot of time with them just relaxing. We all went to prep school together. So it's just like, it's a home away from home. How has West Point changed you? Uh, West Point's changed me not only mentally, physically, but uh, just overall it made me a better person. Uh, like in, in high school and everything like that, they, if you if you talk to me in high school, it'd, it'd be hard to believe that I'd go maybe an hour without looking at TV or anything like that. But just going through prep school and everything like that just just shows that uh, to putting all that aside and focusing on what's important, you can actually accomplish a lot of great things, and you can push yourself further than you ever you ever imagined. And it's just uh, it always makes me proud to go home and just realize that I'm actually doing something that uh, my my parents are really proud to tell other people and. Well, when he's not carrying the football, Alfred McDaniel is also a sprinter on the Army track team. Well, coming up, who's next on the Army hit list? Actually, we don't give a hoot, but it is the Temple Owls. We'll preview Army's next opponent when we return.